Hey guys, it's Courtney here. I just made a really long video talking about the pros and cons of like full body silicone versus a full body vinyl. And I guess like just rethinking that, I feel like that was a lot of information that <laughs> I don't know that everybody will sit down and watch. So I kind of just decided to make a short version, in my opinion, on the full vinyl dolls versus the full body silicone dolls and the investment, uh, you know, is it worth the investment to get the full body silicone over the full body vinyl? Um, so before I get into that, um, a little more detailed, I do want to say that I am completely unbiased between silicone and vinyl. Um, I have, I have three partial silicones, I have a mini partial silicone, and then I have, oh gosh, I have quite a few uh, Reborns, um, I have an Ashton Drake, I have two Ashton Drake dolls, um, and um, this is my one full, full vinyl uh, doll, um, and I absolutely love her, by the way, so, um, I, and I love my full bodies and my partials, so I am completely across the board, just love all the different art dolls out there, especially, um, I also collect one of a, you know, little mini one of a kinds, and so on, so on, so I'm very unbiased when it comes to, uh, silicone versus vinyl, um, and partials versus full, etc., etc., I love them all. Um, so that being said, I wanted to address, um, of course, a, lo a lot of what I've seen out there, like due to the popularity of unfortunately, um, the scam websites and the stolen doll sculpts that are out there that are being sold off eBay and Amazon. And again, these scam sites, which are stealing prototype photos, putting them on like, oh, if you spend a hundred dollars, this is the doll you're going to get, which is... Which, again, like, I think for people who don't know, like, truly don't know, their, you know, their child is just like, oh, I want a Reborn doll, and then they Google Reborn doll, and this is the sites that come up, and they're like, oh, that's cute for $100. Wow, $100 for a doll is expensive, which, yes, it is, if you're not into the art world, <laughs> you know, and they get it, and then they get nothing that looks like the picture, or they don't get their doll at all. So there's definitely been a lot of that going around. Um, so I'm hoping that people might look at this video, or there's definitely others out there, um, before diving into that kind of thing. So, um, first of all, if you want a full body, cheap silicone, um, first of all, I'm actually going to talk you out of that. Because the silicone part is just not necessary if you're wanting a cheaper doll. Um, and two, if you're just wanting a lifelike, a cheaper lifelike doll... Um, there are legit websites out there. There are, they are factory made dolls, but they're a bit more realistic than your typical play dolls from like Walmart and Target and so on. Um, Ashton Drake, Lee Middleton, Par uh, Masterpiece Galleries, Paradise Galleries. Um, goodness, like there's, there's many more out there. If I keep, if I can think of them, I'll keep putting them like in the description box below. But like, here you go. This is one from my collection. He is an Ashton Drake doll. I have not repainted him. I have not redone his hair. His hair is kind of crazy, but it's still stinking cute. I love him to pieces, and I've not done... I did reweight his body. I think I changed his body, reweighted his body. That's it, and I absolutely adore this doll. And he looks realistic. He does. He looks real, but he was factory made by Ashton Drake. So if you're looking for a cheaper Ashton Drake doll, they sell typically for about $150. Um, but you're getting a legit doll, like, you know, not scam, not, um, made, stolen, <laughs> stolen sculpts, uh, that were reproduced, none of that, so, legit, so, highly recommend that if you're wanting just a cheaper, realistic doll. Um, if you are wanting a cheaper, in comparison, um, full body, realistic doll, um, I, this is one of the options I want to talk about right here. Um, and that is the difference between, um, first of all, the price difference and then the overall, um, enjoyment and longevity of the vinyl versus the silicone. Um, so first of all, let's talk about price. These are both, as you can see, blank kits. Um, this is the Indra Sculpt, the Sleeping Indra Sculpt by Reva Schick. And she is made in the Super Soft LDC 
um, which was its code word for uh, Little Dreams Collection. There used to be a website years ago called Doll Dreams, and they were another dealer like McPherson's and Irresistibles and Dolls by Sandy, etc., etc. Um, and when they went out of business, the those websites kind of took over uh, the Little Dreams Collection. So you can get these from... Um, I know you can get them from McPherson's and Irresistibles. Um, and it's not just this kit. There's quite a few full body um, LDC. The LDC is like the softer vinyl. So you can see um, she her torso is completely filled up with polyfill. But I used the, um, and there's also some glass beads in here as well, um, in a stocking. But um, I used the Angel Soft polyfill. Um, mo like in the tummy area. I think in the chest area I used the firmer. I did. I used the firmer. But um, so she's full, but her vinyl's so soft that you can just see how squishy it is. And her vinyl itself is very squishy. Look at her fingers. She's just a very, boop, boop, boop. She's a very, and her head, again, is filled. But she's just squishy because her vinyl is squishy. She also is very poseable because she is a ball jointed doll. Her arms her legs and her head are all ball jointed. Da da da. So she's cuddly, she's poseable, um, and her kit ranges from $130 to $150, I think, depending on which site you get her from. Um, and she comes with the um, assembly, um, like the ball jointed um, assembly pieces. I will admit she is a huge pain in the tuchus to put together. She is the hardest doll I've put together <laughs> but as long as you're you know, getting her from another artist then you won't have to worry about that and I think other people might have better techniques or if you have another person helping which I didn't that probably makes all the difference too so but anyway uh, I put her together and I'm not taking her apart again let's just say that um anyway so there is the blank kit price for Indra uh this kit right here this gorgeous very gorgeous full body silicone sculpted by Sylvia Manning. Um, I think sculpted and poured, if I'm not mistaken. Sculpted and poured. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Sculpted, molded, and poured by Sylvia Manning. Um, in, I think she is like, she feels EcoFlex 20 to me. So you can see she is squishy. She's pretty squishy. Um, she also, this particular kit, there's so many out there. There's so many like full body silicones and they all have different features. Um, she does not have a drink and wet. Um, she does have armatures in her arms though. She doesn't have them in her legs, which I'm okay with because I kind of like the floppy, the floppy legs. Cute. And of course she is also quite cuddly. I'm pretty sure she was Eco 20 though. This kit, blank kit, was over $2,000 and that is very typical. In fact, uh, that's probably the low-ish end range for like a higher quality um, blank, and that's if you can get a blank, because, you know, some don't sell them, um, but typically 2000 is kind of the average range for a blank, uh, full body kit, so we're now looking at, at most, $150 versus $2,000, so just an FYI there, and again, that's also why silicone is so expensive, we are not greedy artists, we are not, we are absolutely not greedy artists, most do not make a good profit or a decent, even a decent profit uh, on their sales because all of the materials and the time and everything to even put into this kit. So I understand, I understand why it's $2,000. I completely understand that. So I've invested $2,000 in her and then the, you know, the, the, the cost for the actual matting and the silicone and the pigments and the tools, and then your time, um, and your, your heating devices, and whew, I mean, and they take quite a bit of time to do as well. Um, it's, it's a lot put in there. So yes, silicone dolls, when they're done right, are very expensive. They are, but not, uh, greedily so. They are priced how they need to be. <laughs> At least most are, in my opinion. Um, Okay, so with that being said, what are the, like, what is the difference? Like, what is the the main difference? Why are we just not going with the cheaper option here? Um, and to me, that's a good question. But um, to kind of answer that a little easier, I guess, is like, why do people want a full body silicone versus a full body vinyl? One is like, 
the cuddle factor, I guess. But I will say this doll is actually quite cuddly. She's at least as cuddly as my Reborns on a cloth body because, again, she's soft. And because she's poseable, she can, like, you know, get my arms and curl up like this and snuggly. And her head, it's ball jointed. And I realize that this looks a little bit odd, but normally you wouldn't hold her like this. But her head <laughs> flops back. So you do have to support it. So there's a lot of cuddle factor there, just an FYI. Um, and of course, Jolie is definitely, definitely cuddly. You can see. Um, posability is actually not usually as good on full silicones as, say, partial silicones. She does have an armature, so she can straighten her arm, curl it back up pretty tight. Her head um, is soft enough where it can turn to one side. She can also, like, we can kind of get her legs in there and, you know, get her to pose like that. So, yes, there is some posability options with her. Um, there are more so with Miss Indra. Now, obviously, Indra has these probably unsightly uh, ball-jointed areas, which... To me, they are actually quite easy to cover up. If you're just having her laying in a crib with just a diaper on, you could like put a bit of the blanket kind of over her shoulders and problem solved. Or a lot of uh, outfits, like even these little summer outfits um, where the spaghetti straps are, you can lay them literally just along the the line of her ball joint and you can't tell. So... The clothing options are still limitless, whether you're having a full vinyl or a full uh, silicone. So there you go. Um, now the downside, of course, uh, is that um, Jolie, because she's silicone, she does have a more of a realistic skin feel to her. Whereas even though Indra is soft, she does not. She does still feel like vinyl. She just feels like a soft vinyl. Um, but to that end, if, if you really we're looking for like the cuddle, the cuddle factor, and um, you wanted that skin feeling, um, I recommend a partial silicone because they're just as, they're probably even more so snuggly than full body silicones. And you still get that feeling, you know, in their head and their limbs, they're still very soft and again, much, even much more snuggly than full body silicones are typically. You know, sometimes full body silicones can be just as snuggly. Um, but, and they're also partials are lighter as well. These full body silicones can be quite heavy. So um, that can be a deterrent as well. Um, next one would be uh, bathing. That's a common, common one I see is um, they want to, um, collectors or, you know, new collectors or someone just looking, they want one that they can bathe. Um, and to me, that is not beneficial at all for your silicone baby. <laughs> it's really not just not beneficial to do at all. Um, and I'm not saying this with, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but to me, if you want to, if you want to bathe a baby, that's very sweet, but you can get like water babies even like they sell them now and you can bathe them and you can have fun with them and they feel, they feel like silicone too. So you're still getting that, you know, that feeling if that's something that you like, but, um, Bathing a full body silicone doll, you really run the risk of the painting or the matting um, just becoming damaged over time. And that's another thing with silicone versus vinyl is um, when you paint a silicone, you are using a firmer uh, grade of silicone to put the pigments down over the silicone. So especially with a soft one like this, as you're pulling or manipulating the silicone at all, like, you know, just moving her, just moving her head from side to side, just squeezing her cheeks, um, over time, you are going to, you know, risk the paint and the matting just starting to stretch and, to, and then from the stretching will cause eventual peeling. Um, that is definitely a downside of silicone. Um, it should not peel uh, if it's done right and as long as you are handling them very uh, delicately. And I mean that in like a, um, 
I mean, it's okay to handle your silicones for sure, but you just need to know that the more you manipulate, um, the more you change their clothes, and especially the more that you bathe, if you are going to bathe your silicone, please just use water and just set them down in it and just kind of maybe gently splash to get any lint or stuff off. Um, but if you're like using soap and you're scrubbing them, you're using a washcloth and then you're even using a towel to dry them off, that's a lot of rough textures that you're just, I mean, you're just asking for the, you know, the matting to just start roughing up and, and peeling. Um, so that's definitely a downside, especially with the amount of money that you put into silicone, um, is unfortunately the more you handle it, I mean, even the oils from your skin can cause the, the, um, the layers to break down. So sadly, it's, you know, it is what it is. Silicones can last forever um, if you're just, you know, not doing much handling. If you're just letting them sit there and look beautiful, they can be pristine and everything. But the more you handle, the more you do things like bathing or taking them out and everything, just know that it's, you're going to more likely cause a breakdown. And I'm also, I'm speaking from someone that is a holder and it does change their clothes and everything. Um, I just know to be as careful as I can, but I also expect that the silicone, the matting and all that will probably start breaking down. Um, I try, and if I see that, I try to catch it and fix it myself or anything like that. But just an FYI, a, de a definite downside of silicone. Reborns, that's not really something you have to worry about. Most of the paints are permanent. They should be permanent. Um, whether you're using air dry or um, I am a big fan of the heat set paints. Uh, I tried air dry and I just couldn't go back to it. <laughs> I was like, nope, uh, I'm all for, uh, for a heat set. But um, for heat set, it's permanent. The only thing is like it can fade if you have them in the sun for long periods of time. The other thing is their hair. Um, for, for reborns, for vinyl, you root the, root the hair in and then you can glue it from the inside and the hair is permanent. With silicone, it there's nothing holding it in except the silicone itself, which a lot of times that's enough. If it's if the hair is put down deep enough in there, it takes actually a lot to you know for the hair to come out. But that is something that can happen over time because there's no way to glue it in permanently. Um, another downside. Um, so anyway, <laughs> with all that being said, obviously I really pull for like you if you want your money's worth but you want you know the the capability of having something that's anatomically correct which they are to be able to wear you know all kinds of clothing to still be quite cuddly um good for interaction good for posing um i just i highly recommend the full vinyl dolls versus the full body silicone dolls um for me personally i like the full body silicones um as like a work of art more than anything else. To me, they're full body, so they're beautiful, and you can just wear, have them wearing a diaper, and they're just laying around. They are pretty cuddly, but I honestly like my partial silicones for the cuddle factor because they are more cuddly. They're not as heavy, so they don't hurt my back. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's really, I basically get them for the art, and I love it. Um, I love this sculpt. Um, the same sculptor who sculpted Asher made her, so I'm just in love with her. I don't actually know yet if I'm going to keep her or not, um, but I, I'm excited to paint her. Um, but I'm, this little one is from my personal collection. Like, I, I love this doll. I've been wanting to make one, and um, now I have her. And to me, she's she's fantastic. I'm, I mean, she's, to me, um, and what I want her for, she's, you know, to me just as... Um, she's going to be just as well done and just as well... You know everything is the silicone is so um again i'm not putting down silicones goodness i definitely i think i have more silicones than vinyl at this point but just from the perspective of hey i want a cheaper silicone to be able to do this with and do this with um, most of those things you can do with this this little one right here um, and you'll be buying legit products and supporting art you know actual artists and um getting a really good doll that's going to last you a really long time so anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if there are any other reasons that you, you know, want full body silicones and you're just not sure if the investment is worth it or not, please post it down in the comments below. I would love to have a conversation with you. Um, I have been making and collecting for over 10 years. Um, 
of lifelike dolls and then even beyond that I used, I've collected dolls on my life so got quite a bit of knowledge and uh, an array of my collection that I would love to share with you guys anyway thanks so much for watching this video hope it was helpful um please don't let anybody be offended by this because none there was no intention of that at all I really just wanted to share um basically the side like the the investment side of what you want you know out of a doll and so on and especially those that are just now coming into the community and don't know what to expect don't know how prices work um don't know about the scam sites and all that i just really wanted to share that but thanks guys for watching and i'll see you hopefully in a new video very soon Bye bye